What is it with the Labour Party? They keep coming out with the most unelectable leaders. And just when you think that you may consider giving them your ear with the potential to giving them your vote, they come up with the most unelectable guff. Some of their MPs are so at odds with public opinion that you've got to ask yourself, what planet are they on? Let's start with Stella Creasy. Why has she gone and opened this nonsense can of worms? She's reopened the toxic mess that her woeful leader, Sakir Starmer, made with his inability to define a woman and the bit where he was unable to say whether a woman has a penis or not. Can you believe we're still here on this one? Even if you're a Labour supporter, surely you know that a woman does not have a penis. But the Labour Party is so devoid of any policies that this is the hot potato that they wish to deal with. Stella says that J.K. Rowling is wrong. Really? Pit your battle, Stella. It's not just J.K. Rowling who says that women don't have a penis. It's pretty much every woman I've ever met. <clears throat> and biology. That thing that determined the difference between male and female long before Stella decided that she'd do it for us. I mean, what is she talking about? And if that isn't bad enough, you've got one time in a long time, longest leader, Labour leader of all time, Tony Blair. He's floated back to the surface, the unflushable Tony Blair. His institute have joined forces with the Britain Project, a progressive group modelled on something created by Macron to hold a future of Britain conference the week after Glastonbury. He wants to fill the gaping hole left by the lack of imagination in British politics. Well, we all know Tony's got plenty of that after his creatively scripted dodgy dossier on non-existent weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, which led us to an illegal war. Very imaginative. To head up the project, they've roped in Ramona, ex-Conservative Cabinet Minister and ex-London Mayor Walk candidate Rory Stewart, who before the pandemic was sleeping in other people's houses all over London to see how they lived. They've dragged up former MPs Luciana Berger and Angela Smith, who left Labour to set up the disastrous Change UK, the thing that they founded with Chukka Amuna. After that failed, they joined the Lib Dems. A whole host of has-beens who have failed in some political capacity are joining together to come up with the ideas for the future of Britain. Heaven help us. Potential speakers include Baroness Ruth Davison, the former Scottish Tory leader who's gone on to big things. She's now a presenter on Times Radio. And they've apparently approached David Miliband, finally the right brother. We all know they picked the wrong one the first time round. Hosted by ex-BBC's John Sopel and Emily Maitlis, well, that tells you everything you need to know about the future of Britain. Non-existent, in my view, if that lot are left in charge. So Tony Blair, who has also confirmed his wholehearted support for Sir Keir Starmer, saying he has put Labour back on a winning path. The Future of Britain conference. More like a horrible history.